So I ball so hard, motherfuckers wanna find me. The first niggas gotta find me. What's 50 grand to a motherfucker like me? Can you please remind me? Ball so hard, this shit YouTube, what's up? Cloudy Poker Chips. Back in the building with another exciting review for you guys. Um, I say review, but it's really not a review. It's more of a, uh, it's an overview of the shoe and um, just uh, how I got it and just some discussion about the sneaker game because I like to interact with all you guys and see what you got to say. This pickup, as uh, most of you guys probably know by the title, is the LeBron 9 Miami Vice uh, PS Elite, South Beach, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but to me, uh, there's only one South Beach, and that's the South Beach 8. I don't have those. Um, I like to have them, but uh, unfortunately I don't. But uh, to, get into, to get into this pickup, um, a little backstory about this pickup. Um, I live in a very small town, and my shoe outlet, um, my ability to pick up new, new releases, limited releases, is non-existent. Um, if I don't cop online, I probably won't cop. Um, so, you know, for these kicks, I did whatever I could to get them, and you know I tried and tried and tried uh, days before, um, before they, you know, before they came out um, for my hookups. Um, I got a dude in Guam that uh, he's in the Air Force there, and there's a base that actually has a house of hoops um, where they get new releases and stuff like that. Uh, he couldn't get them, um, so they weren't getting them there. Or something like that. I think the guy, I don't know, he didn't get, I don't know the story behind that. But, um, anyway, um, I found out the NBA store was going to get him. And if any of you guys deal with the NBA store, um, you know that it's, their drop times are always different. Um, they're never consistent on anything. Uh, they'll get a hot release, and then they won't get, you know, a, the next release. They won't get the next one. They'll get a random one, if, you know, out of left field. Um, so I called the NBA store and talked to a rep and never even heard of the shoes, had no idea what I was talking about. So I was like, okay, great. Um, called back again, talked to another rep who said they might get them, um, but they'll be, if they do get them, they'll be super limited and um, there's no telling if they'll drop that day, the next day, or whatever. So I'm like, are you serious? Um, and if you guys have ever dealt with NBA store reps, uh, you know that they are absolutely clueless on all of their products. Um, and after about four, I'm going to say four to five reps I've talked to, I finally got uh, hooked up with a cool cat who knew what he was talking about. He knew the shoes. And he said, yeah, we're getting them. And he told me they would drop between like midnight and eight o'clock. So I'm like, damn, um, I'm already going to be up early for these. I live on the East Coast and this is when I started dropping shoes um, you know early uh, instead of midnight. So uh, midnight 1201 you know I start refreshing the page, start refreshing the page, start refreshing the page and I do that for like three hours and probably around 3 30, 4 o'clock bam they pop up. Uh, add to cart, check out through PayPal, bam, get my confirmation and still kind of stunned that I got them. Um, but I copped the NBA store. Uh, the next morning, uh, I got up extra early, got ready for these on Nike.com, struck out. East Bay, struck out. Um, by the way, East Bay, um, they're getting better, but uh, customer service there is absolutely fucking horrific. Uh, there are some rude people that work there. Um, if I didn't have to resort to them sometimes, I would never shop there. Um, I've had orders canceled. Um, I've been talked to like shit on the phone. You name it. I mean, East Bay is, they suck. Uh, if you guys ever watched uh, DJ Hess, uh, his video of uh, East Bay sucks, definitely check that out. Um, just real unprofessional sometimes. 
And you know, you spending all this money there, and they treat you like you're a criminal or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, South Beach LeBron Nines, real real dope shoe, real nice uh, colors. Um, really like the way these uh, pink looks on these shoes. I'm not a real big pink guy, but uh, but uh, you know, super nice. And the actual colorway on these are. Wolf Gray, Mint Candy, New Green, Pink Flash. Um, so any of you guys that are still kind of cop these and find a pair at a good price, good luck. Um, these are a size 12. I could probably take a 12 and a half in these. I only have one other pair of LeBron 9s. And uh, they are 12 and a half and they fit perfectly. That's the China colorway. Um, I wore those shoes a lot and they're real nice shoes. Um, actually balled in them a couple times or them casually um, but real nice shoe. Uh, but uh, these shoes are really recommended. Quality is good on these. Um, for 250 retail they should be um, they should be fucking spectacular. But uh, I can't complain. Uh, real nice pickup. Real lucky to get these for retail. And uh, really, the box is real nice too. Um, I like the touch. I like the the touch of uh, like the, the hologram material. Um, real nice, real nice. Uh, pull out box. Uh, you gotta love the LeBron boxes. Um, the Jordan box, they kind of took a turn for the worse. I think with the new black boxes, not not really a huge fan of them yet. Um, I prefer the old boxes with the gray lids, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but the LeBron boxes are always hot. Uh, LeBron 5 boxes are 6, 6, 7, 8, they're all nice. Um, big shout out to Nike for the LeBrons. And uh, that's my pickup. Uh, LeBron 9 PS Elite Miami Vice. If you don't cop them, you better cop them quick because they're going to be gone. Thanks, YouTube. See you next time.